So this is a, an exercise we call counter rotation. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our body one way and hold it there, and then we're going to turn in the opposite direction. So what we're doing is we're putting the most uh, stress and release at the same time of feet, ankles, knees, hips, pelvis, torso, shoulders, everything. So I'll just show you how we do it. I kind of angle the camera to the side so uh, people can see what we're doing. I'm going to put this right about in front of my sternum. Okay. Then I'm going to step on these. This is going to make it easier to turn. So I'm going to turn my ankles first and then my hips, my torso. And then I'm going to turn my bottom, like, like you're coming through in a downswing, you turn your shoulder downward like this, and then you're going to rotate that, right? And then you're going to hold that position where that stop. Now watch my feet. I'm going to turn in the opposite direction, holding that. And that is a really great release. And you're only going to do this one, per, uh, one time per side. And you're going to go the opposite direction, turn your ankles, your hips, your torso, your, your shoulder under. Rotate that until it stops, and then turn your feet in the opposite direction. And don't be surprised if you hear some clunk, clunk, clunk <laughs> in your spine, right? Because that's it's releasing that tension. Okay, so and like every other exercise you've done today, this is the first time you've ever done it, right? You're doing incredibly well. So the way that you properly jump on these things, these are going to be about two of the lengths of your foot away from the wall, your foot, not mine, okay, for your body size. And then what you're going to do, first thing you're going to do, you're going to put one foot in between. That's why we have the space. Go ahead and do that. One foot, it doesn't matter. Then you're going to put that hand held on the wall and hold it there while you're stepping on those rotating discs. That's for safety. You got it? Perfect. Okay, good. Perfect. Now, just like when we're learning how to use the hand held, don't push too hard on that. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to turn your ankles, your pelvis, your torso, and turn the shoulder underneath until that locks. Good. Hold that there. Now turn your feet in the opposite direction. Hold all of this. Turn your feet in the opposite direction. Keep on going as far as you can go. Good. Don't cheat your body and your body won't cheat you. Good job. That's probably what they said to you at the Naval Academy, right? And relax. Good. Come back to neutral. Now you're just going to do it the opposite way. Your ankles, your hips, your torso, your shoulder under, and turn that hand held. You're doing so well. Okay, turn your feet the opposite way. Good. Keep on coming, keep on coming, keep on coming. Now, in that position, try to do a little pelvic tuck. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Awesome. Yeah, I want to hear your thoughts on that one. Yeah. <laughs> my body was just kind of like, oh, my God. It was going two different ways. Yeah. Right? But it was like a weird kind of deep stretch that I've yeah. never really felt on my back before. So you're a great golfer. I know because I've, I've played with you several times, right? Um, is doesn't your body go different ways in the golf swing? It does. Certainly. Which it does kind of emulate it. Cause it yeah. It's the same exact feeling like you said yeah. I have while I'm coming yeah. down. Yeah. And it really, because, you know, you don't want, when you come down the swing, you don't want to like jump up like yeah. that. You want to stay down. It yeah. kind of helps me have that feeling a yeah. little bit more with the resistance. Yeah. Um, coming down on my swing. So yeah. I, I think it's very helpful for the golf swing. Yeah, by the way, uh, probably everybody that's seeing you here don't know you, so they've never seen you play golf. But I can tell you, she hits it a long, long way. 